As a budget-conscious traveler, when people ask me where a small amount of travel savings can reach, I always recommend traveling to Asia. Then I'll get bombarded by the question, so I can go to South Korea. Well, as much as most Asian countries offer a very affordable travel cost, South Korea costs more especially in Seoul, its capital city. But don't worry, what I also learned from my travel experiences is that no matter how expensive a trip can be, you can always find a way to minimize your travel expenses and maximize the fun. Like in today's video, I will share 10 tips to maximize your visit to Seoul without spending big. And if you've been to Seoul and know other budget-friendly activities to try there, feel free to comment below. Now, let's get into it. First things first, stay in cheap accommodations in Seoul. Fortunately, you can find many affordable places to stay in Seoul. But to help you decide, you can ask yourself this question. What is my goal here? Are you in Seoul for a fancy staycation or to explore the city? If it's the latter, I recommend skipping hotels and Airbnb and opting to stay in cheaper places because most probably, you will be outdoor touring and you'll only need the accommodation for sleep, bath and storage. For instance, you can stay in Junjilbang, a Korean bathhouse that only costs $10 to $15 a night for a standard room or a solo cubbyhole and is suitable for short-term stays. If you stay in Seoul for a little longer, say a few weeks to a month, a gashiwan or the smallest transient room would be great. You will save big as it only costs $200 a month. But if you prefer more comfortable and spacious accommodations, there are hostels or guest houses in the city that cost $25 to $45 a night. Next is eat at local eateries. To be honest, I a lot more money for food than accommodation because I can only try a country's local dishes at least once in my life, or a few more times if I get lucky. One great thing about visiting Seoul is that you don't have to visit its high-end restaurants to try its food scene. Instead, you can go to smaller restaurants and street stores where you can get your stomach full and your craving satisfied for only $3 to $6, and it usually comes with free refills of side dishes and water. So, make sure you have good eyesight to spot those small stores, because they are easy to miss due to their size. If you watch Korean dramas, you surely know what they look like. Some not to miss local dishes are the dulcet bibimbap, sundu bujige, ramyeon, and of course, tteokbokki. Next in line, use the public transpo. Unlike other countries, public transportation in Korea is convenient so you can always find a way to reach your destination cheaply instead of hiring a private vehicle. Starting at the airport, you can begin your budget-friendly travel using the airport railroad or Eriks's all-stop train. Taxes are also affordable, but I suggest only taking them at night or when there is no traffic. Buses are also available. I also recommended getting a T-Money card, which you can buy from convenience stores. This card will allow you to use public transport more efficiently and get fair discounts. The best part about using it is that you can refund your unused balance when you return the card. For the next tip, visit free attractions. That's how we save money. There are many museums and attractions in Seoul, and visiting them will surely cost you a fortune. Fortunately, the best ones are free and almost free. By almost free, I mean they are very cheap. Some free spots are the National Folk Museum of Korea, dedicated to Korea's life and culture. The National Palace Museum of Korea, if you want to see artifacts from the Joseon Dynasty. And the National Museum of Korea, for the country's history and arts scene. Other free attractions include temples like Jogyesa Temple, Chan, and Namsan Gol Hanuk Village. Unfortunately for art enthusiasts, most art museums are not free but admission is still relatively cheaper. The National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art will only cost you 4,000 won or around $3, while the Liam Samsung Museum of Art's entrance fee only costs 10,000 won or about $8. Next at number 6 is experience Seoul's unique cafe culture. Because South Korea is a very colorful and creative country, no wonder they have so many one-of-a-kind attractions, such as their unique cafes, the most common themed cafes in Seoul are Poo Cafe, Cat Cafe, Dog Cafe, Comic Book Cafe, and so many other themes. Basically, it's either you will have to pay an admission fee and get a free drink, 
or you buy a drink and get free admission so you can spend a few hours in their unique cafes. It usually costs $5 to $8, which is not too expensive, mainly since it includes a drink and an opportunity to rest or have fun. Let's continue with this next tip. Shop near subway stations and university areas. Instead of shopping in malls and department stores, you can visit the subway stations and the university surroundings to buy different items for an incredibly cheap price. If you buy clothes, go to Hongdae near Hongak University, and you can see independent clothing stores there. For girly stuff and accessories, you can go to Iwa or Ide, as it is close to Iwa Women's University. Because their market is the students, the prices are student-friendly, hence budget traveler-friendly. Next is to make use of convenience stores. Maximizing the convenience stores is actually a win-win situation. Not only will you save money, but you can also experience the daily life of the local people. Again, if you watch K-dramas, you will notice how often they appear in every series. The great part is that you have many convenience stores to choose from, from 7-Eleven to Mini Stock to buy the way. Aside from the street foods, you can also buy delicious and iconic Korean food in convenience stores, such as food trays of rice, meat, kimchi, and vegetables, and Korean snacks like pepero sticks, seaweed chips, and rice crackers for only less than $2 each. Next on the list is Explore Seoul's Green Spaces. Wandering in the city can also be tiring, so including a green space in your itinerary is also great. You can maximize your visit to Seoul if you see some of its most iconic green spaces, such as the Han River, which is perfect if you want to get near water, the Seoul Forest for a relaxing walk, and the Bukhansan National Park if you're going to get active and do some hiking. You don't have to spend money on some luxurious spars to relax. Sometimes, exposure to nature and green spaces also works wonders. Plus, it's budget-friendly. And for the next tip, visit during off-peak times. I have used this technique in most of my travels, which changes the game. There are so many benefits when you travel during the off-season. The accommodation, fare, and tour fee are way cheaper than when you travel during the peak season. Also, there are fewer tourists, so you can have most of the attractions, especially the free ones, to yourself, leading to a more relaxed and enjoyable trip. Although there might be some downsides, like the weather, Seoul is a city that looks and feels the same year-round. Before we get to the best part of this video, let me share some friendly reminders with you. If you want to see more travel tips and tricks, you can visit my channel and subscribe. Don't be shy to click the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future uploads. And now, my final tip is to travel with a group. If you really want to save money but don't want to compromise the experience, then I recommend traveling with a group. It can be with your friends, workmates, families, or a tour group of strangers. By doing so, you can have more people with whom you can divide and share the expenses, such as accommodation if you want to rent an Airbnb, private vehicle rent, package tours, and so much more. Although some of you may want to travel alone, it's time to take a leap out of your box and try visiting Seoul with other people. Not only will you save money, but you will surely acquire new learnings and experiences. And there you go, those are the 10 tips to maximize your visit in Seoul, Korea, this 2023 without spending big. Remember, no matter how expensive traveling can be, you can always find a way to minimize your travel expenses and maximize the fun. Again, please make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. Do you want more travel tips with me? Watch these videos next.